on October 22nd, 2018, I was standing on a motorway bridge preparing to take my own life. I was standing on that motorway bridge at 2 o'clock in the morning. I could see bright lights coming towards me. It was it was pitch black and yeah I was I was thinking about jumping and I was just about to jump and I was waiting for the biggest bright light that was oncoming and I jumped. Um I went forty foot down. I got hit by a heavy goods vehicle, it was a breakdown recovery truck, carrying a cat on the back of it. I was hit by that vehicle at seventy miles an hour. I went flying up in the air, landed on the motorway, the M4 motorway, and was knocked unconscious. I don't remember falling, don't remember being hit. I was subsequently laid on the floor. Um, the driver of the vehicle heard my body hit his vehicle. He then pulled onto the hard shoulder. He then put traffic cones around my body so no other vehicle would run, o run over me which probably saved my life um, and then uh, he called emergency services which took me to a hospital where I was put in an induced coma for around three weeks um, I woke up with double vision, um, totally paralysed, um, I had movement of my arms slightly and that was it, no movement from my waist down, my neck, couldn't move my neck, could move my eyes, like couldn't see at all properly, everything was blurred and double vision was, yeah, was ongoing for months after, couldn't talk. Um, found out that my injuries were a fractured skull, severe brain injury, a broken neck, a fractured sternum, a punctured lung, 12 fractured bones in my spine, 8 broken ribs, 6 points of blood lost, a broken ankle, a broken wrist, and my spinal cord was damaged at T10 which is belly button level, uh, L2 and L5, so below my belly button I had no sensation, no movement, and I'd be pretty much like that for the rest of my life with no movement, I was told, below my waist, so the prognosis was I'd never walk again, um, which didn't really sink in. Um, so I spent 81 days in that hospital um, and then I was moved into a spinal cord rehabilitation hospital which you try and get as much movement as you can back. Um, I was told, you know, walking was, it wasn't going to happen. So um, yeah, I was determined nothing was going to stop me from walking. I was. I was still believing I'd walk again. I can't imagine never walking. I was 26. I thought, you know, this this can't happen. So for the next few months, I started to put on weight because I went down to eight stone, which someone who was is over six foot is 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 ridiculous. You just skin and bones. Um, I managed to put a few stone back on and. Uh, six months after my injuries, I was managing to stand on a standing frame, so I had a harness behind me. I was able to stand just holding a frame. Um, you know, I was, I was supported, so 
couldn't fall back or anything. And then I was about three, two or three months after that, so about nine months after my injuries, I started standing with a Zimmer frame and I could take one or two steps with my right foot. And then around 12 months after my injuries, that was when I made it to crutches. Now when I say crutches, I mean to literally take a handful of steps on crutches, um, basically dragging my foot along the floor. Um, and on the 12 month mark, I went back to the bridge that I jumped off and I managed to walk on that bridge which um, was a goal of mine um, for quite a few months and then um, around 18 months post injuries I was, I was able to walk on crutches on my own without any assistance um, just in case I fell um, and sort of up until now I'm still walking on crutches um, which is going to be lifelong uh, I've got pretty decent on them um, I'm able to to walk some days decently other days a struggle but four hours every day of exercise if I dropped any sort of uh, routine that I'm doing four hours to say two hours I'd lose a lot of strength in my legs and find it really difficult to walk again um, at the stage I'm at now so basically it's lifelong um, constantly um, walking f uh, throughout the day, morning exercise, night time exercise on the bed um, just to keep the strength that I've got at the moment and yeah it's been I'm at over three years now post injuries um, still have a lot of pain but um, nowhere near as much as I did have um, and yeah to anyone out there who's you know going through a hard time or is in the process of rehabilitation believe in your own ability don't listen to anyone who says you can't do something because you can um, that there, there's there's only one thing that can stop you and that is yourself if you believe in your own ability push yourself every single day use every hour of every day to the maximum and realize that you only get one shot in life just basically don't stop Keep going and never stop believing. Always believe. Yeah, that's my story.